Nvidia shares are up 1,800% in the past five years. And that's absolutely mind blowing. Their dominance in the AI chip market has significantly contributed to that success. The company has seen triple digit growth both in revenue and net income reaching record levels just in this last quarter and that's why in this video guys i'm going to be talking about ai nvidia and we're going to see is the ai hype actually real my name is nolan let's jump into it so first of all sustainability demand for ai tools are they going to stick around because right now ai is everywhere and there have been some concerns about will the demand for AI chips, software, platforms continue to last? Well, NVIDIA's growth is heavily reliant on AI investment and in projects, so it's a great question. Uh, in fact, their data center revenue accounts for over 80% of NVIDIA's total revenue as of the latest, uh, latest quarter. I mean, that's absolutely crazy to me. 80% guys, just in the last quarter, 80% of their total revenue is coming from data, data centers, which is heavily AI reliant. Now, there are, uh, we've got to look at some of the trends in AI adoption because this is going to be the telling story here. There's been historical reluctance for companies to discuss AI during earnings calls. For some reason, we stay away from that term, AI. And it's historically that's been the case, but there has been a drastic increase in AI mentions among Russell 3000 index companies during earnings calls. Here's the numbers. In 2015, there was less than 1% of the calls that even mentioned AI, less than 1% in 2015. And now today in the last year, that number has jumped to over 16%. 16% of earnings calls are mentioning that hot keyword AI something has changed something is happening we've seen a significant jump I mean just in the previous year it was only it was right under 10% of earnings calls that jumped up to 16% in the last year in one year they went from under 10% to over 16% and that increase indicates to me that there is a growing number of companies that are initiating AI projects so what does that mean what are the implications for nvidia well continuous growth in ai discussions suggests that there's an ongoing and increasing demand for nvidia's products and what that indicates to me is that there's potential for sustained revenue growth and positive share performance for nvidia I think what this is saying is that Nvidia is it might have a slight correction from its absolutely insane price, but I don't think Nvidia is in danger of absolutely collapsing. It suggests to me that it's not too late for investors to consider Nvidia shares and that highlights the company's long-term potential in the AI market. Now I gotta say out of those five years of absolutely outstanding growth, 1,800% growth, I've only been in NVIDIA since 2020. So actually most of that time. And I've bought a little bit of NVIDIA as we go. I think my blended uh, my, my blended performance is like a little over 500% increase. I'm very happy about NVIDIA. And you know what? I think I'm probably going to continue to invest in NVIDIA, continue to buy up shares because man, it's just such a great company and it's such an amazing time to be alive ai is powerful uh investing trends guys we've got to talk about this because people are falsely assuming that ai is a trend let me explain there's a transient nature to investing trends uh think of just a few examples uh cannabis cannabis was a hot topic for a year and then it disappeared meme stocks meme stocks jumped onto the stage everyone was talking about meme stocks it was all over the news everyone was like should we buy meme stocks should we invest in memes it's gone it was a trend it came and it disappeared there's a current focus on stocks that are associated with artificial intelligence or ai and that suggests the question is ai a trend well you have to know the difference between a trend 
and a, a sustainably growing market. I have to acknowledge that while some AI involved stocks may fade, others be are going to thrive because of rising revenue and profits. And that's because AI is a new technology. It's not a trend. Uh, NVIDIA's market performance and perception are, are being influenced by this. NVIDIA has seen significant growth, 250% just in the last year, and that's nearly 2,000%, as I said, over the last five years, and that's attributed to its AI semiconductor dominance. But it's got some perception issues. It's seen, this is crazy to me, but NVIDIA is seen as a meme stock by some people, and it's considered overpriced with a PS ratio of 37. Now, contrastingly, they're viewed as profitable due to high gross margins with a PE ratio suggesting a bargain in light of the 769% rise in net income for fiscal 2024. I think that Nvidia, as said before, has a lot of growth potential. The projection, my projection for Nvidia is it continues to grow. And, and not just Nvidia, the, the larger AI chip market. Uh, this is what market digits forecast is. They think that the AI chip market CAGR is going to be 38% all the way through 2030. And NVIDIA has a dominant market share, at least 80%. And that, that position um, allows it to benefit significantly. Now, of course, there are some challenges to NVIDIA's market dominance. They're expected to decrease in market share due to some new AI-ready chips from competitors like AMD, Intel, Qualcomm. And that is potentially going to impact NVIDIA's gross margins over time as the competition catches up. But my long-term outlook for NVIDIA and AI is that AI has staying power as a technological advancement and not a trend. AI is not a trend. NVIDIA's sustained leadership is likely to continue driving significant returns regardless of AI's trendiness. Because there is a level to a level of trendiness to AI, but it doesn't matter because NVIDIA has outstanding leadership. They have outstanding products and they're going to continue to deliver. Let's look at the performance and events just in March, I want to end this video by giving you just a quick update on NVIDIA's uh, stance, where they're at just in the last month. Their shares increased by 14% in March, and that was primarily driven by enthusiasm for artificial intelligence. Again, so some of the positive outcomes from its annual developer conference, um, they, they had strong Q4 earnings report, and a lot of that contributed to this, uh, to this early momentum. The stock experienced a notable rise at the beginning of the month, at the beginning of March, correlating with a surge in super microcomputer shares after its inclusion in the S&P 500. Nvidia has become a key player in the AI boom. High demand for its GPUs and super chips, exceeding their supply capabilities. And it's partnered with Super Microcomputer, which is a specialist in AI servers. And that's what's contributed to this mutual stock performance benefit. Now, there were some key announcements and some investor reactions to those announcements in March. They unveiled their new Blackwell platform at NVIDIA's developer conference, promising significant cost and energy savings for running generative AI applications. They also had various other product announcements, new partnerships that are emphasizing NVIDIA's ongoing leadership in AI. Analysts responded positively to the conference developments, uh, leading to price target increases and a lot of favorable commentary. But there were some challengers and there's competition on the horizon. Despite NVIDIA's dominance in AI hardware, it does face potential challenges from companies that are aiming to break its market hold, including major customers like Microsoft, Alphabet, and Meta Platforms. 
The competitive landscape does pose a risk to NVIDIA's profit margins and market leadership, but I'm not personally concerned. So, main takeaway, NVIDIA's continued leadership in the AI industry suggests potential for ongoing stock advancement. Investors, though, are advised to monitor competitive developments closely as significant threats could impact the company's profitability. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, that's that's all for today. That's your update for NVIDIA here in April 2024. If you like this video, leave a like. Um, consider subscribing to the channel, and you'll get more videos like this. And guys, leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about NVIDIA and whether it's time to sell and it really is a trend and um, you want to catch that peak or if you think it's about to soar into the future. Guys, you'll have a great week. I'll catch you in the next video.